flower photography as in any other kind of photography, the quality of light is one of the most important things to consider. Light is extremely variable. It can be soft and diffused, or hard and bright. It can fall on your flower from above, in front, behind, or from the side, and it can vary in its color temperature. Although we don't often stop to analyze the different types of light in our day-to-day -day lives, the quality of the prevailing light when we're taking photographs will significantly affect our images. We can't alter the light conditions when we're photographing outdoors, but at least if we have an understanding of the different types of light and how they behave in a photograph, we'll be able to make the best use of the light which we have. When the sun is shining from a clear blue sky, the light will be hard and directional. Areas lit by the sun will be bright and vivid, while shadow areas can appear dark, almost black. This is a very contrasty kind of light, and in a photograph, it can sometimes result in highlights being very light, almost burnt out, and shadow areas being dark and blocked up if the contrast range is too great for the camera to cope with. The human eye and brain is much better at coping with contrast and seeing detail in both highlights and shadows than a camera sensor is. In a photograph taken in hard, bright light, you will often see shadows cast by one flower onto another, or even by one petal onto another, which you didn't notice at the time because your eyes and brain were compensating for the contrast range. In this photo, the sun is casting shadows from some blades of grass onto the petals of the phlox, which I didn't really notice at the time I was taking the picture. Even if the contrast range is manageable, if the hard light is coming from above or in front of the flower, it will usually be an unflattering light for it. In this picture of Adelia, the light is coming from directly behind me and falling flat onto the flower. Light from this direction is known as front light. Notice how the petals look almost dusty and the shape and colour of the bloom are not shown to their best advantage. In addition to this, the light is also falling on the foliage behind the flower, which appears rather bright and lurid. For this second photo of the same flower, I changed my position so that the light is now coming from my side and slightly in front of me at about 11 o'clock. This has completely changed the resulting image. The petals now look much richer in colour and the sun is rim lighting the petals, giving much more of a sense of the three-dimensional shape of the dahlia. It's also no longer falling directly onto the leaves behind it, so that they are much less distracting to the eye. So when you're photographing in a hard directional light, it's important to consider the direction which the light is coming from. We've seen that hard front light is generally not a flattering light for a flower. However, a bright light coming from behind the flower, known as backlighting, can be a different matter. The next pair of photos shows the different effects of front and back lighting. I took this first picture with the sun coming from behind me and falling directly onto the tulips. The effect is not good, revealing all the blemishes and imperfections and making the flowers look rather tired and past their best. For the second photo, I moved to the other side of the flower bed and photographed the same tulips from the opposite direction, looking towards the sun so that the flowers were backlit. This has created an entirely different image. The translucent petals are lit by the backlighting. Their colour is enhanced, and instead of noticing blemishes, you can enjoy the pattern.